Hello everyone, my name is Hung and I'm the founder of Y42. In today's demo, I just want to show you how Y42 works under the hood. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I'm already logged in the Y42 demo org and this organization has four different spaces. Now the way you can look at spaces is each team within an organization such as the product team, the sales team or the marketing team they would get their own dedicated space to build out the data pipeline that they need. And in today's demo, I'm going to use the product space. Now, this product space is connected to a data warehouse like Google BigQuery or Snowflake, a Git repo like GitHub or GitLab, and a storage such as Google Cloud Storage, S3 or Azure Blob Storage. So you can already see um, Y42 leverages the infrastructure that our clients provide us. So we do not store any data on our site. So let's jump straight into the first use case, which is building data pipeline with Y42. Now, I've already set up a very simple data pipeline in the product space, and it consists of um, a Google Sheets um, using Airbyte, where I pull data from three different tables, uh, followed by some data transformation using uh, DBT SQL. And um, these um, transformations then are being used by a downstream dashboard outside of Y42. Um, and the MART payments table in this case is being used, um, is being leveraged by a Python script to send data back to Google Sheets. Now, um, you can already see that Y42 um, has successfully materialized the table within BigQuery already based on the green indicator here. And you can see this data here all exists within BigQuery. Now let's jump into from the lineage view into the list view. And the list view is basically the same view of all the assets, but it's just displayed as a list instead of as a lineage. And if I click on the plus button here, which says create asset, um, it's going to open up a pop-up um, and provide me all the building blocks that I can use to further extend or build out my data pipeline. And with Y42, you can um, reference existing data table that exists in your data warehouse, use one of our hundreds of pre-built connector, you know, MySQL, um, Workday, Salesforce. Um, you can use Python to ingest data. You can use your Fivetran if you provide us a Fivetran key. You can use DBT SQL to transform the data and you can use Python to further automate your pipeline as well. So we provide really an end-to-end -end building blocks um, to yeah, build your data pipeline. Now, in today's demo, I'm going to use Google Sheets and I will call it demo Google Sheet. And you will see it pops up now on the left-hand side here in the list view. I'm going to use um, a secret that I've already pre-populated before Let's use the yeah, basic settings here, standard settings, I'm not going to change anything. And with this secret, I'm able to pull data from three different tables, and I'm going to do that for the raw orders and raw customers. You can see they're popping up on the left-hand side here already. Now, this is one of the first yeah, superpower of Y42. Everything that you do is um, being recorded as code. So every interaction that you do here um, is written into a file structure. And Y42 built one of the fastest Git engine in the browser using WebAssembly. And it's yeah, the fastest Git engine that has ever existed in the human history. And so since every interaction is Git, um, you have the full power of yeah, um, Git history, you can create new branches, um, you can stash branches, and this is like GitHub desktop. Um, so you can use the UI to really leverage Git, or if you're a professional, well, feel free to use the Git terminal. And since everything here that you see is code, we also have um, a code editor within Y42 embedded. And as you can imagine, uh, and by the looks of it, this is VS Code running the browser. You can use any of your extensions um, that you know. Um, and it's, yeah, one of its kind, one of a kind running into the browser, in your browser um, with Git under the hood. And as you can see here, um, Y42 is just operating on top of a DBT project. 
and you can drag and drop uh, a dbt project in here and it's just going to work and Y42 uh, extends dbt by a lot of functionality so by configurations here to pull data from airbyte from c data from 5chan um, Y42 expands um, dbt with python so you can yeah um, build out your data pipeline uh, extending it with python we offer orchestrations um, and so on so the way you can imagine it is we just extend um, dbt by a lot more functionalities now let's switch back to the lineage view and you see i created this uh, demo g sheet and let me actually discard the changes and as you know if i discard the code um, yeah it's just going to disappear as well because it's all yeah, code in my local environment right now now let's take a look at how we would build something uh, and materialize a table in the data warehouse within y42 it is quite simple. You just need to go to the build panel um, on the bottom here. And all you have to do is you select an asset, um, the mark customers in this case, and you say Y42 build, select mark customers. And this plus sign indicates that um, we should build all the upstream dependencies first before we build the mark customers table. Now I, I just click on build now and Y42 automatically knows how to resolve all of these dependencies and it's going to build the raw customers table first and then um, the staging layer and then the mart customers layer and this is how it looks like right now um, it's uh, yeah it could be sql it could be python it could be one of our pre-built ingestion it doesn't matter Y42 automatically resolves it and it's and basically a declarative asset-based orchestrator like Terraform and you can just go to a scheduler you can set up a scheduler to run um, at a certain time um, or based on a certain trigger an event and if something goes wrong you can just set up an alert um, yeah, to warn yourself that something uh, didn't go as expected within your data pipeline and so that was super easy you can already see how to build end-to-end um, -end data pipeline using yeah, one of our hundreds of pre-built connector using dbt sql or python and um, so that was the very first use case with um, building out end-to-end um, -end data pipeline with y42